Something is going on, something we all need to get involved in, but it's a big mountain to climb. These black bin bags represent a threat the Sustainable Wales' street campaign is tackling to try and stem a tide of waste that is clogging up our rubbish tips and littering our public spaces. Yeah, there's something should be done about it though, because I sit that is a waste of our resources. But what exactly? Well, this mountain is made entirely of disposable nappies, a staggering 156 black bin bags full, around 5,000 of them for each baby in Britain. Yeah, it's amazing that the pile's so big. Disposables represent at least 4% of all household waste, but there is an alternative that could bring about a real change. And I'm absolutely horrified to think that I've been contributing to that mountain. I don't think many people think about it. When you see it in that form, it brings it home, doesn't it? You do realise. Something I've been meaning to do, but I really feel guilty for not getting around to do it. I think you've got to, I mean, in order to sort of preserve the environment for the future generation. We've been looking for other alternatives, and the Terry nappies are working well for us. We've been doing them for 18 months and no problems at all. Here at the Devon and Exeter Hospital, they've been doing it since 1999 with financial support from the council. We use real nappies because we're worried about the environment. We don't want to have um, any more waste than we can possibly have. Um, a hospital generates a lot of waste and by using real nappies, um, that will reduce some of the waste. We put one real nappy into each um, cot in the delivery room so the mum can see that we use real nappies and then they've got the choice of using them after delivery if they want to. Every new mum here gets the chance to try reusables, often for the first time, and it's free. We'll definitely consider using them. We've used disposable ones in the past and um, they haven't always been as user-friendly as they might have been. They leak sometimes and they're also quite expensive. And having heard that uh, cotton ones are also more friendly for the environment and can save you a considerable amount of money in the year. I think that's, that's something we need to look at as well. There can be health benefits too. The way a baby holds its hips um, is supposed to be um, an advantage of using a real nappy because with um, disposable nappies, they're um, very slim nappies. They're on the television, they're saying how easy it is to walk, but babies need to hold their hips at a, an angle. The mothers attending this play group need no convincing of the benefits of reusing nappies. Um, I use real nappies because of environmental reasons. Our waste tips are already overflowing. Because of the chemicals that go into disposables as well. I use real nappies because I'm hoping it should be easier to potty train. Looking quite fashionable and I like showing them off. It's always my second boy so I can reuse them again. I use real nappies because they are cheaper and they look better. And there's plenty of scope for show-offs. And colour is just one of the key words. Convenience is another. Today's cotton nappies are quick and easy to change. Poppers and Velcro have replaced the old safety pins. And cost is another factor, as little as £135 for everything you need. When it comes to the sporting life, if you want to stay on the ball, you need kit that gives you confidence. That's why the boss insists on reusable cotton nappies. Comfortable and stylish for me, cheaper for her, and just as easy to use. Get real. Anything else is just a waste. Anything else is certainly a waste of money. Using washable nappies instead of disposables could save a one-child family up to £500, more on a second or third. And with only the biodegradable liner going into the bin, the same family can cut their household waste by half. The rest goes into the washing machine, onto the line and back onto the baby. Unless, of course, even that sounds a bit too much like hard work, in which case there's help available from companies like the Gentle Touch Nappy Service. Uh, the benefits of the service are that people can actually use cotton nappies with all the convenience that disposables offer. So they can have a um, collection and delivery service direct to their door, they haven't got to go out shopping for nappies, uh, they have them delivered straight to them, um, and also then they get all the environmental and health benefits of using cotton nappies.
The Sustainable Wales campaign is developing partnerships between councils, health professionals, retail agents, local manufacturers and mums. Promotional activities range from leaflet distribution, presentations in antenatal groups, parenting classes and nurseries, to setting up stalls in the street which attract public and media attention. The word is spreading. Professionals and the public are beginning to respond. In the future I'd like to see um, partnerships coming together, that's um, the councils, the health sector and the companies. So mums are given a real informed choice. There's a real nappy week every year and I think we should really go overboard on using real nappies and being on the television. You need to keep it sustained. Basically, it's something our children are, you know, facing the problem with now and they'll inherit it in the future. And we don't know the long-term effects as well, because nobody does with environmental stuff. And I just think it's uh, a problem that needs to be dealt with now.